you guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do a sunglass video I just want to show you a couple of the sunglasses that I'm loving and unbox a brand new pair of sunglasses with you guys this is the first time I've bought anything from this brand in particular but stick around because I haven't even looked at them I've been waiting to open them so I did this video with you guys so let's get into it because I'm excited Okay, so before we get into the unboxing, I just wanted to go over some of the styles that work for me. Some of the styles that I love and reach for over and over again. So the first pair I wanted to show you guys was this angled pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. Now some of these styles I've had for a few years, but I just felt like it was, it was good to still show you guys because these are the styles that are classic and that you'll want to probably have in your collection because you'll want to reach for them over and over as well. So this pair is a cat eye more of an angle kind of pair. This is from Tom Ford. They have like a, a blue hued lens and a little bit of blue detail on, on the uh, frame. I love these so much because cat eye is a very classic shape and I just feel like it's very feminine and you'll just always reach for these. I love these so much. They look really cute dressed down or dressed up. I do like to wear them dressed up because I feel like it just, it's like really finishes the, the look. But again, you can wear it with whatever. I love, love, love these. What I don't like about these sunglasses is that the frame is a little bit heavy. They're not uncomfortable or anything like that, but you just notice that these are just a little bit more heavy than the other, um, than some of my other frames, which is fine. But sometimes um, it can be a little uncomfortable, like when you're wearing makeup. And maybe uncomfortable isn't the right word because they're still comfortable, but they like leave a little mark because of the weight of the frame. They'll like leave a little nose mark, which happens with a lot of my sunglasses. And that's one of the things I'm gonna talk about with this new pair of sunglasses. But anyway, we'll get into that. So these are really cute. I really love these, very feminine. And I do like a more of a substantial sunglass because I have a round full face. I gotta make sure that the glasses can like, you know, stand up to that. <laughs> so this is the first pair I want to show you guys. Love, love, love these. Then another pair. I'm gonna show you like the older ones first and then progress to the newer ones. These are a pair of round Jimmy Choo sunglasses. Now, I love these, first of all, because they're over the top. They have the crystals here on the side, and they have like a little bit of a shield too. They give you a little bit more coverage around your eyes from the sun, which is really nice. They're mirrored lenses, and then they're black with silver, but a little bit of gold. So I, I mostly wear gold, so these work for me. I love a round sunglass. Now, before, I wouldn't wear round sunglasses because I have a round head, but a round head, a round head, a round face. I wouldn't wear round sunglasses because I felt like it was too many like circles. But honestly, I just feel like if you try the sunglasses on and see if they work for you, if you feel comfortable with them, you should just go with it. Because a lot of things that I've read about shapes of sunglasses that work for different face shapes, I feel like they're good tips. Like I know a lot of the tips that I've read for round faces, they say that you should go for um, shapes that offset the roundness. So more angular shapes, geometric shapes, things like that. That's, one, that's what I read, but I feel like if you like them and they're comfortable for you, then you should go with them. Now, there are some things to keep in mind, like I have, I said it before, a full face, so when I smile, my cheeks lift up. Then my cheeks come up really high, so they'll lift up the sunglasses on my face. So when I'm picking out sunglasses, I have to make sure that when I smile, it doesn't lift up the sunglasses. And that's the issue I have with aviators, because a lot of times the aviator lens will come down really low on my cheeks, and it doesn't work for me. So I'll show you a pair, two pairs of aviator styles that really do work for me. So again, this is another mirrored pair. And this is another pair of Tom Ford. They come down pretty low, but they're, um, they project a little bit farther out so they don't sit on my cheeks. So if you have high cheekbones, really full cheeks, cheeks that come up really high when you smile like me, then you wanna make sure that you get sunglasses that project a little bit off of your face. So when I smile again, they're not lifting up on my face. And I wish I had a pair of sunglasses to show you of sunglasses that were pretty close to my face to show you how awkward it looks when I smile and it lifts up, but I don't. But just keep that in mind if you have a face shape similar to mine because I've seen people in person and it is kind of weird that you know when you laugh and you smile and the glasses like do this little jump. It's kind of weird. So anyway, and sometimes I do sit them a little further on my nose as well. But you should be able to put them in any position on your nose and they don't sit on your cheeks. So love, love, love this pair as well. Again, they're mirrored. They have a gold mirror, gradient, golden brown effect. 
and they're a little bit straighter across the top. I like a style like that, but I do, I am a little bit more careful because I feel like sometimes this flat top isn't that flattering, but I feel like this one's okay. It's slightly rounded, but it is more flat on top than a lot of my other sunglasses. So I really like these. I think they're super easy. I throw these on a lot when I'm just going, like on the weekends, when I'm going to the gym, things like that, because they're black. I usually, I'll have on black or more casual outfit. I throw these on and I just think they look really great. And they're pretty substantial. Again, that's what I like. And then the second pair of aviators that I wanted to show you guys were these Key Australia sunglasses that I have. Now these are black with a silver mirror. Now these are black with a silver mirror. I love these because first of all, the price point, I think these are about 40 bucks and the look of them is very high end. So for what you get versus what you're paying for them, I think it's a really good deal. I also had these in the regular black lens, but I actually lost them in Peru. If you haven't seen my video talking about my trip to Peru, I'll link it in the cards and you can check that out. But I lost them going up the mountain and then when I found them, they were all scratched up so I had to get rid of them. But I really love them and I actually should replace them. But these are a really, really great sunglass. I love big sunglasses. These look huge in person. The mirror is really nice. They look really, really good. They don't feel very sturdy. That's one thing I don't like about these. They don't feel extremely sturdy, but they don't look cheap by any means. I mean, they really look expensive. They really are a really great pair of sunglasses. So if a uh, designer brand sunglasses are not in your budget, or if you're just not interested in spending that kind of money on sunglasses, it's totally understandable. And this is a great brand that I would say check out because you get it look you get the look of luxury without the price tag. Now these are a pair of Mason Margiela sunglasses that I actually got from an outlet a few years ago. I love these because they're so lightweight, so comfortable to wear. It feels like I have nothing on my face. And I also love how translucent the lens is because when I go into places, I don't constantly have to take my glasses on and off, especially if you're just running errands and you're in and out of buildings, but it's still really sunny out. You put them on your head or you put them like in your shirt and you're, you know, constantly rearranging them all over your face but these are so easy to keep on inside and outside so i really 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 love these sunglasses and these are a little more squared off so it does give a different look from the other ones that i've been showing you guys but again they're still a pretty substantial size they sit up off of my face and when i smile they're not bouncing so i really love these These are really comfortable they are a rose gold frame and they have a rose color lens I think that's really cute. I usually don't go for rose gold. I actually don't like rose gold at all, but I really love these sunglasses and I think that for whatever reason for me, the rose gold worked in here. I really love these sunglasses as well. I guess that's the trend. I really love all my sunglasses and that's the way it should be. You should only be buying sunglasses that you love or things in general that you love and want to keep. And finally, this pair of butterfly Gucci lenses. I love these because first of all, they're huge. They're huge. <laughs> I absolutely love the size of these. Again, they're over the top. It's a lot of coverage. I have a round face, a full face, and I feel like these make my face look smaller. They sit up off my cheeks when I smile. They're not bouncing around. Again, a lot of coverage. They're gold. And a detail about these that I just am over the moon about is, I'm gonna look in the monitor to make sure I can, you guys can see it, but it's a little pearl at the end. So that's really cute. But love these. These are great. I've been wearing these a ton lately. That's just a few of the glasses that I have and I wanted to show you guys because those styles I feel like are pretty classic. I mean, aviators, a square shape, cat eye. Those are shapes that are like gonna be forever shapes. Like you're gonna, look, you just pick lenses that are gonna work for you no matter what. Ones that will go with, you know, when you're dressing down, ones when you're dressing up. I just feel like even if you only have a couple pair of really great shapes, you're good to go. You don't have to have 50,000 pairs of sunglasses, but if you do happen to have 50,000 pairs of sunglasses, just pick shapes that will work with anything you're gonna be doing. Okay, so now, let's get into this unboxing. Cause I'm really excited. So these sunglasses are by a brand called For Art Sake. They're a British brand. They're a fairly new company. I hadn't heard of them until maybe a few months ago, but they're actually sold everywhere. They have their own website. I'll link it down below, but I actually got this pair from Saks. They're sold, I think at Neiman's, Saks, not sure if they're sold at Nordstrom, but they are They are in a lot of department stores. So they're pretty, um, they're pretty huge brand now. I did like two day shipping with these, so I've had them for probably about four days and I haven't had a chance to film this video and I'm just now doing it, so I'm really, really excited to finally get into this. Okay, so these glasses were 215. 
As far as a luxury pair of glasses go, that's a really good price. I mean, these sunglasses could be upwards of three, four hundred dollars. So I feel like for a luxury brand, that's a pretty good price for a pair of sunglasses. And I consider this a luxury brand because first of all, these are handmade. So I think that's really nice. And second of all, the features, um, the, the sorts of things that went into these sunglasses when I read online like the description, I thought that was really nice. They're unique. They're not exactly sunglasses that I've seen all over the place. So I think you have to take all those into account when you're wanting to spend like a little bit more money on a pair of sunglasses. So first of all, they come in this really nice velvet box and it has the brand on them for our sake. That's really nice. It feels really good. And this is a good box to store them in as well. Or other things. It has a little magnet. It came with this little card. Find out more. Oh, it says thank you for planning a trip. I didn't know about that. I'll have to look into this. But it looks like when you buy a pair of sunglasses, they plant a tree. So that's really nice. Oh, find out more at fas-loving.com. So assuming that FAS is for art's sake, um, they must have a... Um, a charity program that every time you put, buy a pair of sunglasses they give a pair of sunglasses away and they also plant a tree so I'm gonna find out more about that that's pretty cool so there you go that a part of that a portion of the money that you're spending on these sunglasses is going to something good and then here's the case it's a velvet case it says the name for art sake on it and then inside it has all the typical things that come with sunglasses a pouch I noticed that um, my other shades came with the pouch as well as the hard case so that's a nice feature they're giving you options because some of my handbags are really small and the cases are a little bit too big or a little bit too firm to fit in with anything else so it's nice to have the pouch as another option even though the pouch is not going to protect it as well as a hard case um i don't know it's not like i'm throwing my bags around so it doesn't matter but it's nice to have the pouch and you can use the pouch for other things too then comes with the lens cloth and a little booklet i'm assuming this is like care instructions general information how to use your sunglasses in case you're not sure about how to do that activate your for art sake key international warranty and authenticity card so there you go that's another element that makes you feel and understand that you're getting um, a luxury brand because it comes with the authenticity card that's nice so if you ever want to sell them a lot of times you buy these luxury items and you know you wear them and then maybe you're not as into them as you were a year from now you want to sell these sunglasses you have the authenticity card that's a good thing to keep in the resale and now let's look at the sunglasses so they came in a little pouch a little plastic pouch and they're covered in plastic wrap oh you guys they're so cute now i believe this color was called champagne they're a brown gradient lens and they have the pearls, like a paisley pearl. You know how paisley print is? It looks like little teardrops, I feel like. The little um, nose guards that they have on here are made out of jade. And it's supposed to keep them from slipping, but I also saw in another review video, um, the girl who was talking about these, she said that the jade doesn't leave an imprint on your nose, which is really nice because, like for example, the cat eye Tom Ford glasses that I was showing you guys, I told you that this, le this uh, frame was a little bit heavy, so it does leave an imprint on my nose. Most of my sunglasses do. I feel like it's just a feature of sunglasses unless you have the full plastic frame that wouldn't leave the imprint on your nose. But for the most part, if you do a metal frame, I feel like it does. So I'm going to test these out for sure and let you guys know. But I thought that was a really nice feature that this was made out of jade so it wouldn't slip. Especially if your nose sweats in the summer or if you have a makeup or anything like that. And it wouldn't leave an imprint so that it wouldn't mess up your makeup. So that's really cute. So let's try these on. Obviously, I love these. So it has a round shape. Lately, I've really been into round shapes. Chloe actually makes a pair of sunglasses that are round with um, kind of, not like a hexagon, but they kind of have like squared off edges, but it's a round sunglass. It's so cute. Anyway, these are, that's for another video. These are so cute. They're round, they're oversized, they're over the top. They have the pearls. They have like a little dip here. This is so cute. They're gold. I love these. I really, really love these. I am obsessed. These are going to be the, my new go-to sunglasses I'm probably going to wear with everything. Just like I was doing with, I think I was like obsessed with the Gucci's. But I'm obsessed with all these sunglasses. Only buy stuff that you love, you guys. Because then you'll wear it. It'll be worth the money. 215 bucks. I feel like does sound like a lot for a pair of sunglasses. But if you think about the cost per wear, you're buying a quality item. 
I didn't even know that a portion of these proceeds are gonna go back to planting a tree. I'm just obsessed with these sunglasses. This is a, a new brand, like I said. I'm gonna follow, follow up on this brand and look into them some more. They do pay attention to detail. These are handmade, really good quality sunglasses. So I really love these and I'm looking forward to styling them and wearing them for the rest of the summer. So that's it you guys. That's my mini sunglass collection and my sunglass unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do like videos like these, make sure you leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you love this video, let me know what you loved about it. If you have any, um, any comments you want to leave, any questions you want to ask me, anything I didn't cover, make sure you leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.